Well, good evening folks. Uh, this evening we're going to be looking at this device. This is the new Lightwave RF inline relay from JS JS Designs. Uh, part number JS JS LW 830WH. Uh, this is the new 3 kilowatt inline relay. Uh, and this evening we're going to be wiring it into a table lamp uh, just to test and demonstrate its operation. Uh, before we do that, uh, we are going to take a look at the device. Um, it's not a small device, as you can see. Uh, on the pictures on various websites, it does look quite small, but it's actually quite a chunky uh, uh, piece of kit. Um, in terms of length, it's about 135 millimeters long. I hope you can see that. And wide, it's about 65. Uh, these screw holes are on about a 58 mil uh, screw pitch. Um, on the back we have uh, four security screws, uh, so unfortunately we can't take a look at the uh, insides. Um, and on the front we've got one standard Phillips screw uh, which covers the uh, cable uh, clamping assembly. There you go, uh, as you can see it's quite a, a, a chunky piece of kit. Um, and we've got this small uh, adjustable uh, wheel here which uh, sets uh, an automatic off timer and we'll go through that in a sec. Okay, um, this evening, as I say, we're going to wire this up to a small table lamp uh, just to test its operation. Uh, before we do, we obviously need to uh, remind you that uh, we're, we're basically playing with 240 volts of electricity here, um, which is more than enough to kill. So uh, if you don't feel confident doing this, then uh, stop this film now and uh, call in an electrician. That said, if you're happy enough wiring a plug, um, you should have no problems at all with this inline relay. Okay, so how do we wire it up? Well, the first thing we do, we need to release this cover here, and this is via a standard uh, Phillips screw. Uh, this is a number two Phillips screwdriver. Uh, we'll loosen that uh, there. Right, there we go. Okay, a quick, quick loosen. Take the screw out, there we go. Pop that to one side, and this cover then just lifts off. Inside, uh, we've got six terminals and a cable clamp assembly. Uh, now, the, this relay, unlike the previous generation uh, Lightwave RF relay, um, is uh, a uh, outputs 240 volts on its uh, load terminals here. Okay, and uh, it's only a single, um, single pole relay, uh, if that's the right word. Um, so this isn't going to work if you want to uh, use it for lifting or lowering uh, screens, blinds, uh, garage doors, that sort of thing. So, we've got uh, six terminals. Um, you probably can't see those with the cable clamp. Uh, what we'll do is we'll release this cable clamp here. Uh, just two standard Phillips screws. There's one. And a second one. Put that to one side. There we go. And you can now see that we've got six uh, terminals. Um, there we go, and just see uh, two behind the thing there. Now, these two here are the load side of the relay. Okay, so uh, that's basically a switch live and a neutral. Uh, the middle two are the um, supply side, uh, so we need to uh, put some power into here uh, for the device to work and for it to output any power. Uh, there's the live there and neutral. And on this end, we've got two earth terminals. Uh, which you would wire into your uh, earth cables. Now, the device, uh, obviously a table lamp that we're uh, going to test with this evening, um, it is a double insulated device, so it has no earth terminals. But obviously, if you were using this in a, uh, 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 in a different configuration or um, in your ceiling or whatever, um, you would want to make sure those are wired up. Okay, so to wire this up, we uh, first off, we loosen these four screws here. Um, I've actually taken the liberty of doing that uh, before I started recording, so I'll just make sure they're nice and loose. Now, what I've got is a table lamp. I've uh, uh, Here's one I prepared earlier, as they say, and I've taken off the plug. Uh, there we go, so we've got two, uh, two standard wires in, the wire, in there. Um, I've recycled the plug onto a new piece of cable. There we go, there's a plug. You should all seen one of those before. And on the other end of the piece of cable, um, I've bared the wires ready to go into the relay. Okay, so we'll connect up the uh, supply side first. Obviously brown to live, blue to neutral. 
um, and we'll stick these in and tighten them up. I'm going to do one at a time, um, just for ease of use. There we go, there's the brown in there. Into life, we'll tighten that one up. Oh, it's just popped out, there we go. Brown into there. Tighten that screw there. Again, nice and tight. And then we'll pop the blue into the uh, neutral side. Like so. Just give it a little waggle. And we'll tighten that screw there. Now, give it a nice, uh, uh, a gentle tug, just make sure it's nice and secure. That is, we don't want to pull it too hard, and uh, we don't want that to come out of those terminals. Okay, taking the uh, other piece of wire with the uh, connected to the table lamp, we'll put this into the load side. Once again, brown into uh, live, which is on the far end. Okay, we'll pop that in there and uh, tighten that screw. And blue into the neutral connection next to the other one. There we go. Pop that in there, just hold that there a sec. We'll tighten this screw up as well. There we go. Now, as before, give it a gentle tug. Make sure it's nice and secure. It is, so we'll lie it there. Uh, and put the cable clamp back on. Now the cable clamp just pops over the top, two Phillips screws holding it back together. So put those in and screw that up. Nice and tight. Last screw. Yeah. and one final check, just check that's nice and secure in there, there we go. Okay, last job, pop the cover back on, a uh, little waggle just to make sure it doesn't snag the cable, uh, screw in the top, get that in, and we'll tighten that up with the Phillips screwdriver, there we go. Now, while I'm doing this, I will mention that we uh, uh, got these devices from the lightwaverf.co.uk. Um, so make sure you pop down and see those guys. Um, they are, uh, they've got some great prices on the Lightwave RF kit, and my thanks obviously go to, uh, to them. Okay, next job is to pair the device. So to do that, we need some power. Um, we will, I will find the plug that I've hidden somewhere. lost my plug. There we go. Uh, and we'll plug that into the mains. Pop the power on. The first thing we should notice is that this uh, small LED lights up here. Like most uh, Lightwave RF devices, uh, orange is off, uh, blue is on. Now this LED actually acts as a uh, button itself and is our pair button. Um, so like all Lightwave RF devices, uh, we press and hold that button to put it into pairing mode. Um, unfortunately, the uh, one snag with this is actually when you put your finger over it, you can't see uh, the light. So uh, I'll just you know, do it with the tip of my finger there. Just press and hold uh, for a second or so, and the light starts blinking, blue and orange, as per most devices. Uh, we'll take our standard Lightwave RF remote here, and we'll press button number one. And it has failed to pair, that's interesting. We'll try that again. Uh, flashed orange, which uh, means it's not uh, pairing. Now it could be because I've paired this one already. Try again. There we go. Uh, it's paired blue that time, so it indicates a successful pairing. Okay, right. Uh, here's our uh, table lamp. I'll just zoom the video out. Uh, there we go. There's our table lamp. Standard, uh, as you can imagine, standard uh, table lamp with an incandescent bulb in it. Um, for the purposes of this test, that's fine. Okay, so there's our relay, there's our remote, one table lamp, 
All being well now, we'll uh, switch the relay on and the light comes on. Hopefully you can see that, it's uh, uh, obviously overblown the camera a bit, so we'll turn that back off and uh, let the camera readjust to the light level. Now the interesting thing with this relay is this small wheel here. Now this is a uh, has got an automatic off function, so regardless of any other control method you've got on the relay, uh, i.e. a Lightwave RF Wi-Fi link or uh, remote, uh, you can actually set it so it turns the uh, connected load off automatically. Now we've got a number of settings on here. We've got a 3 second setting, uh, 30 second setting, 1 minute, 10 minutes, 2 hours, 4 hours and 8 hours. Now the 3 second setting is quite interesting. That's uh, we'll turn the power on and immediately off for three seconds. You might wonder why you might want that, but um, if you've got uh, some garage doors, for example, uh, which operate on a momentary connection, um, then it will provide the power for a couple of seconds, enough to trigger the uh, internal circuitry on the, uh, the garage door opener, um, and then it'll turn it off again. So to test that, what we're going to do is we're going to just take a, our small screwdriver, put it into the small wheel there, turn that to three seconds, like so. Now, when I turn this light on, um, three seconds later, it should turn itself back off again. There we go, let's give it a test. And on, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, and off. There we go. I'm going to allow the camera just to uh, readjust for the uh, lower light level. There we go. So, three seconds. We'll try that again. On, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, and off. Now, obviously, on the camera, it looks like the light is dimming there. Um, I assure you it's not, it's uh, just the camera adjusting to the light level. Okay, so that's the uh, Lightwave RF inline relay, uh, 3 kilowatt model, uh, part number JSJS LW830WH. Now, if you want to uh, find the best price on this or discuss the uh, device in more detail, come along and see us at the Lightwave RF community.org.uk, and that address is on your screen now. And uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.